On Kisses and Hugs Club today for singles and couples. Episode 74. Bruno and Ivy. Navigating conflict through soft responses. In the heart of the vast African savanna, nestled between the golden grasslands and the serene blue sky, lay the village of Umoja. This village was known for its unity and peace. But within its bounds lived a couple whose household was often filled with the sound of quarrels. Their names were Bruno and Ivy. Bruno was a woman of fierce spirit. Her words often as sharp as the thorn bushes that lined the paths to the village. Ivy, her husband, was a man of pride. His ego as tall and unyielding as the mighty baobab tree. Their love for each other was undeniable. But their arguments were like thunderstorms, loud and tumultuous, shaking the foundations of their home. One day, the village elder, wise and gentle, called for a gathering. The villagers assembled under the shade of the ancient baobab, its branches stretching out like welcoming arms. The elder began to speak, his voice calm and soothing, a stark contrast to the tension that often hung in Bruno and Ivy's home. Today, by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the Elder began, I wish to share a lesson that will help eliminate quarrels and strife, malice, hurts and offenses in our marriages. This lesson is about the power of a soft answer. The villagers listened intently, their eyes fixed on the Elder who continued, It may seem simple, but the things that lead to great success in life often are. Yet simplicity does not make it easy. If it were, our homes would not be troubled by conflict. It is our pride, ego, human tendencies, selfishness, and lack of patience that make it difficult. The elder's gaze moved from Bruno to Ivy, his eyes reflecting both wisdom and compassion. His words carried the weight of years spent guiding couples through the intricacies of marriage. What I am talking about is our responses, the elder began, his voice resonating under the shade of the ancient baobab tree. How we communicate with our spouse is crucial. Our response gives direction to what happens next. The initial words spoken are not as important as our responses. He paused, letting his words sink in, before continuing with a quote from the ancient scriptures. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. As couples, the elder continued, we must pay extra attention to how we respond. Bruno, as a wife, never allow your response to be out of anger. Learn what a soft answer means. Ivy, as a husband, it is better to turn away wrath in your marriage than to prove your point. Even when your spouse speaks harshly, respond with a soft answer. Bruno and Ivy exchanged glances, their hearts heavy with realization. For Bruno, who had often wielded her sharp tongue like a shield, the elder's words cut deep. She saw how her words, though meant to defend herself, had wounded Ivy deeply. Ivy, whose pride had often driven him to stand his ground fiercely, now understood how his responses had escalated conflicts rather than resolving them. It is very difficult, the elder acknowledged. But with learning, decision, and determination, you can master the art of a soft answer. Choose whether to hold on to your ego or to respond with kindness. The couple returned home that evening with a newfound resolve. The next time a disagreement arose, Bruno, though tempted to lash out, took a deep breath and responded softly. It was a scorching afternoon in Umoja, the sun beating down mercilessly on the golden savanna. Ivy trudged wearily back from the fields, his throat parched and sweat-soaked clothes clinging uncomfortably to his body. His thoughts were fixed on the cool drink that awaited him at home, a small comfort after hours spent under the relentless African sun. As he approached their modest hut, Ivy's anticipation turned to frustration when he noticed the absence of his usual refreshment. He pushed open the door with a sigh, expecting to find Bruno bustling about their small kitchen. Instead, the hut was unusually quiet, save for the faint sound of their youngest child's whimpering. 
Bruno, where is my drink? Ivy's voice echoed through the walls, his irritation palpable. Have you forgotten your duties as my wife? Startled by Ivy's sharp tone, Bruno emerged from the shadows of their sleeping quarters, her face etched with concern and weariness. The sight of her husband, disheveled and clearly agitated, sparked a defensive response within her. Normally, she would have met his outburst with equal force, defending her actions and asserting her own needs. But today was different. Today, Bruno felt the weight of exhaustion and concern for their sick child pressing down on her. Remembering the elder's words about the power of a soft answer, she took a deliberate breath, trying to steady her emotions. My love, Bruno spoke softly, her voice barely above a whisper yet carrying the weight of sincerity. Our child fell ill suddenly. I've been with him, trying to ease his discomfort. I apologize for not having your drink ready. Let me fetch it for you now. Ivy, caught off guard by Bruno's unexpected response, felt the tension in his shoulders begin to ease. He had been so focused on his own discomfort and expectations that he had failed to consider what Bruno might be dealing with. I understand, Ivy replied, his voice softer now, filled with a mixture of guilt and relief. I'm sorry for snapping at you, Bruno. Thank you for taking care of our child. I'll fetch the drink myself. As Ivy turned to leave, Bruno's heart swelled with gratitude. She watched him go, grateful that her husband had heard her explanation and chosen to respond with understanding rather than escalating the conflict. In the quiet of their home, with the late afternoon sun casting warm shadows across the earthen floor, they stood as a testament to the elder's wisdom. Their voices, once raised in frustration like crashing waves against the shore, now softened into a gentle cadence that mirrored the breeze weaving through the baobab leaves outside their window. Each word they exchanged carried the weight of their shared journey, the highs and lows of their day, the challenges that tested their resolve, and the deep wellspring of love that bound them together beyond the moments of discord. As they spoke, the tension that had gripped their hearts slowly melted away, dissolving into the warmth of understanding and empathy. Bruno recounted the hurdles she faced while caring for their children, her voice infused with the weariness of a mother's endless devotion. Ivy shared the burdens of his work in the fields, revealing the strain he bore under the relentless sun. In this intimate exchange, they found solace in each other's presence, realizing that their struggles were not born alone but shared in the sanctuary of their marriage. Their conversation flowed freely, weaving threads of shared laughter, gentle reassurances, and quiet apologies into the tapestry of their evening. With every word spoken in kindness and every gesture of support, their bond grew stronger, reaffirming their commitment to weather life's storms together. In the quiet of their shared space, surrounded by the familiar comforts of home, they rediscovered the beauty of unity and the power of a softened heart. As the evening deepened and the shadows lengthened, Bruno and Ivy embraced the newfound harmony in their relationship, knowing that their journey toward deeper connection and understanding was an ongoing one, a journey they were now more determined than ever to navigate together. Over time, the practice of soft answers transformed their household. Their quarrels became rare, their bond stronger, and their love deeper. They learned that while a soft answer may seem simple, it held the profound power to turn away wrath and foster understanding, proving that true strength lies not in harsh words but in gentle responses. Word of their transformation spread through Umoja, inspiring other couples to embrace the power of a soft answer. The village, once merely known for its unity, now became a beacon of harmony, where the teachings of the elder were lived out daily. Lessons Importance of a soft answer A soft answer can prevent quarrels and reduce conflicts that lead to hurt and offense in marriages. Simplicity versus difficulty While the concept of a soft answer is simple, 
Implementing it is challenging due to human tendencies like pride, ego, impatience, and selfishness. Impact of responses. Our responses to our spouse are crucial as they shape the direction of our interactions. Proverbs 15 verse 1 emphasizes that a soft answer diffuses anger, while harsh words provoke it. Guidance for couples. Both husbands and wives are encouraged to understand and practice giving soft answers. It's advised not to respond out of anger but to choose patience and understanding instead. Challenges and commitment. Mastering the art of a soft answer requires learning, decision-making, and determination. It's a conscious choice to overcome the temptation to respond harshly and to prioritize harmony over proving oneself right. Final advice. Despite the difficulty, individuals are urged not to give in to the temptation of responding harshly but to consistently choose to respond with gentleness and empathy, even when provoked. This story was conceived by Pastor Sophia Okunowo and developed by Pastor Dunamis Okunowo, your favorite relationship and marriage counselors and therapists. Don't keep this life-changing story to yourself. Share it with your friends, family, and social networks. Let's spread the love and build a community of thriving relationships. Do you want more? Read the full blog by clicking on the link in bio or description to navigate to the devotionals, or go to www.kissesandhugs.org. Watch full video on youtube.com slash at Pastor Dunamis. For one-on-one -on -one therapy, counseling, or an intervention in your marriage or relationship, go to bit.ly slash therapy needed. To get courses for singles and couples, go to bit.ly slash course. To partner with us, go to www.kissesandhugs.org slash give.